Hey there, and welcome to another Zazzle Tech Training with Jennifer Clark. So I'm Jennifer Clark, and I work with my mom, Elka Clark, mentoring and teaching creative entrepreneurs on how to make money online with Zazzle. And today's tech training is all about one of the new features in their design tool, which is called the Transparent Edit Design Tool. And I'm gonna show you how to do this because it's actually really, really helpful when designing. Some designers need to use this when designing on light backgrounds and using certain types of fonts and graphics. So let's get started. I'm on Zazzle.com obviously, and I'm going to click on the little menu button over here. I'm gonna to go to create your own quickly. I'm just gonna pick a random product to show you this feature in the design tool. It actually works for any product. So just because I'm using an invitation right now, it doesn't mean that um, if you use like a pillow or a blanket or a button, for example, um, it all works the same. So all you need to do is either click on add image or add text to open up the design tool on the product page. And as soon as you open that, then I'm gonna just click on okay. And right here, it's actually defaulted to the transparent dark tool setting. So what I'm going to show you is how to change that. So all you need to do is go into the settings menu here. And I did this tutorial before, but I actually didn't have any sound on, so I have to refilm it. So that's why it was defaulted to the dark one because I actually selected it the last time. But if you want to have it not be dark and actually see the white background as it is, or if you're designing and you want to have it dark, you can do either one or the other in terms of like your preference, how you see the design, how your design is actually working out. Let's for example say that you're using really dark text or really light text and you want to either use the dark or the transparent sort of light feature to enhance the way that you're designing because if you're designing on this white background, which we always recommend if you are going to leave the product be white, uh, to leave it as a transparent. Don't go into the background here and add the color white. I mean, you can design like this, but if um, one of the customers who is trying to customize your design wants to change the background or something happens where they change the color, it's always just good practice to keep it a transparent if you're going to ultimately have the design be with the white in the background, okay? And so if you wanted to change that in terms of the settings, you go into settings and then dark transparent grid tool. And then this sort of also like helps you on the eyes a little bit because the other one's very harsh and bright. And sometimes it's just nice to sort of see something a little bit more muted when you're designing. And then in the end, when you publish, your product will still be the same. Um, it's not going to show that dark shading it's going to be white like you can see in the preview here and so i'm just going to show you that there's nothing really that changes the reason why people design on this maybe is just because they want to utilize the fact that it's sort of the muted shaded color and it's not so hard on your eyes and then also depending on what colors in your design you're using whether that be for font or for graphic design so then as you can see here it's shaded but in the actual design um, it's not so you don't have to worry about that being in your finalized published product okay all right so thank you so much for watching this tutorial on the transparent grid tool in the design tool and i will see you in the next zazzle tech training we come up with a tech training every single week if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see in the videos or if you want to comment down below please do so make sure you subscribe to our channel as we put out videos every single week not only on tech training but we release a weekly podcast as well where you get to listen to the behind the scenes of when we film our podcasts so have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next tech training. Bye.